NTDCNC have revisited uh, Milton in Inkley today to look at their latest investment and it's a beauty, Paul. It is. This is a CTX Beta 1250TC from DMG Mori, a machine that I'm quite familiar with and I've seen you know, in various exhibitions, uh, DMG Mori's showroom in Coventry as well. Really good to see one actually here in action. I mean, we came here not long ago, Paul. It was probably about three or four months ago um, and the machine had not landed, but they, they were looking into buying this machine to make the really complex optical parts they're doing in one hit now. Yeah, I mean, the machine itself, from a, from a technical element, is a twin spindle turning cell or mill turn machine with um, the, a, a true milling head. Uh, it's equipped with power, it's equipped with speed, and the flexibility really is pretty unrivaled in the sense that you've got an 80 station HSK 63 tool magazine. So whatever you're making, and I mean this part, Ian was telling me, that it's actually gone from going on from six different machines down to one. And I think that's the key benefit. It's gone down from six operations to one, and it's reduced um, setup times drastically. Yeah, but when, when you look at that, and you look at how it's done that, you've got two very powerful but fast spindles for turning, but you've also got a very well-equipped milling head here with an HSK spindle, 20,000 RPM. And I mean, I, I look at the, um, uh, the you've, you've got 240 degrees of, of, of stroke, call it in the B axis. So you're, it, it's capable of pretty much achieving anything from a one hit machining perspective. And how important is it, Paul, to do a part in one hit, such as this real technical part, um, in regards to the relationships of each feature. Well, that's exactly it. I mean, you take six machines, that could be six operators, uh, you know, getting involved in the, in the creation of a component. That's six machines you've got to rely on that, are, that aren't gonna either break down or are gonna cut to tolerance or tools aren't gonna break. You know, with this here, Ian can leave this running overnight and come in in the morning to a completed set of parts that he knows are gonna be, um, you know, accurate and, uh, quality components. Yeah. It, it's six setups, it's six potential problems, um, six potential errors, um, and it's six additional inspections as well. Uh, um, so, you know, Paul, tell us about the automation because it's got the bar feeder and the and uh, DNG Mori's own automation solution. And again, that, 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 again, that's just testament to the investment, the fact that the guys here have thought how can I make this machine as flexible as possible? So by having, a, having the bar feed there, you, you can obviously feed feed bar, but then by having this, um, these billets here or this ro robot here, it means you can obviously feed billets too. So whatever the demands from your customer, you can create a solution. And the fact you've got two spindles means you can make half the part on the front and, and half the part on the back or however you choose to balance it. So every time, the robot loads a component, it's also taking out a finished one as well, all in cycle. And, and, and you mentioned that they're now running overnight. This is something that they didn't do before. So they've created another, another shift. It's running unmanned overnight, which is, is a game changer um, and doing it all in one operation. Now, they also mentioned, Paul, that they are getting a drastic improvement in tool life longevity. They have not yet changed the finishing inserts, which I, I can't believe I'm, I'm gobsmacked with that. That will be a collective of solutions all put together. The one I would focus on and know more about is the machine. I mean, this machine has linear scales, it's thermally cooled. Uh, all, all of the spindles are liquid cooled. All of the X, Y and Z axis are, are cooled as well. So you minimize the growth, which means you're gonna maintain better tolerance. You know, the whole thing all together really then, you know, enables you to, to minimise your tool wear, which they're experiencing. Now, DMG Mori um, took Danny to uh, Germany uh, when they were looking at this uh, machine, and it was a, a, a kind of a turnkey solution. You know, they, they made the part for them effectively and programmed it. But what about the programming on the actual machine? Well, the, the Celos control is, um, you know, it's an, it's an app-based system. So it means they've got their own kind of like, well, you know, cycles within them to help the operators be able to not just program the machine, but combine the programming of the robot with the machine collectively. So you're not doing, you know, different tasks on the, on the different pieces of hardware. Um, 
This is actually also has, has a Siemens back end, which has got the shop turn on it. So if you, choose, if you chose to do something at the control, you could easily create programs with that as well. Yes, programming a machine like this, you know, a complex machine with milling capability, you know, programming is a massive consideration. Now let's talk about the milling head. It's a mill turn, but it doesn't lack any power in regards to milling. The, the milling head is very small. That's the, the, that's the most exciting part, I think, about, you know, a lot of this cell here is the fact that you've got milling capable, uh, very capable on the milling side, like a machining center, if not better than some machining centers, 20,000 RPM, with a direct drive um, milling spindle, HSK uh, 63. But th the key point to it is it's a very compact, it's almost as, as, as tall as it is wide, or as wide as it is tall. So it means that if you're tipping that through, let's say 90 degrees, you're not um, you're not taking up much of, or you're not taking up much of your working envelope, and you don't need a big working envelope to be able to get that uh, head within. So it gives you more flexibility, and it gives you the capacity to hold larger components in both spindles. Correct. It's 1250 uh, turning length on this machine, but you've got quite a bit more uh, in the actual capacity of what you can you can hold. But it is all about flexibility, power, and speed. That spindle. Cheers, Paul. So there you have it. This 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 machine is certainly transformed the business here at Milturn in Inkley.